Okay, Shalawam, Shalawam. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory, beloved to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahabakakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe okay back out here another day i'm so lucky i ain't got my garment today but you know things happen i was so i was so eager to get out here that i forgot the garment okay but these things happen okay and i'm out here and today i hope this lesson is going to be edifying and i want to say to what you have by sham you have a shy for giving me the spirit for giving me the motivation to get out here and to you brothers that are doing likewise okay so we're going to start off with Romans 12 because I want to go into a topic of the world the world is decreasing as we see this world that you see is decreasing every single day so if you're a man of this world you're going to be decreasing with it but the elect the Holy Spirit, the hopeful elect, the Holy Spirit is increasing upon them. You see the difference? So that's why it's so fundamental, that's why it's so important that you're in this word, day in, day out. Okay? Because this world, you can see the people, they don't know what to do with themselves. But we have a great comfort. Our comfort is not in the world. Our comfort is not the validation of this world. So let's go. Let's go to, um, I want to start with Romans 12. This is Romans 12, okay? And it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, okay? So we've been shown mercy, what? This truth, this truth is a sign of mercy, okay? So I beseech you, therefore, brethren, and who's he speaking? Paul, okay? But you present your bodies a living sacrifice. So we're presenting ourselves, okay, before these people, before Yahabashai first and foremost. Because who are you doing this for? You're doing it for Yahabashai. So everything we're doing is for Yahabashai and for the brotherhood, for the, the rest of the hopeful elect that are scattered. A living sacrifice. So this is living. Because what we're living through this word and sacrifice, sacrifice is sacrificing your time. Because the people out here, that's another thing. They say what time is money. Get money. That's the spirit of the world. But we're not concerned with what this world's doing. Because while they're chasing money, we have the true riches. Okay, we have enough. Okay, we have enough. The scriptures talk about being content with our daily bread. So we have our daily bread. We have enough to get us through the day. This is what a spiritual man's going to be thinking about. He ain't going to be distracted by the things of this world. Okay? A living sacrifice. Holy. And what does holy mean? Separate. So, if you're holy, what makes you holy? The laws. The laws is what separates us from this world. So now we're holy. When you come to this truth, it's different for different brothers. I can't speak for all brothers, but what does Yahushai do? He separates you from the people you are hanging about with in the world because he knows they're not good for you. They're going to halt your growth. So that's what Yahushai does. He gets these individuals away from you so you can focus more on Yahushai. And when you do that, what? You become holy. So you become what? A sacrifice and you become holy. And a sacrifice has to be holy. Okay? It has to be separate. It has to be sanctified. So we are that sacrifice. And we're presenting ourselves what? As holy. See what else we got. Bear me just a minute. Acceptable. So again, it's a sacrifice, but it also has to be acceptable. Anti-Yavashai. So 
when we're doing our videos, we're also studying. We're also looking at words. Okay? That's acceptable. Because just because you have a sacrifice, it doesn't mean that sacrifice is going to be accepted. So for a sacrifice to be accepted, it has to be presented in a particular way. Just like with the old days and the sacrifice, when you go to the priest, you couldn't just give up any sacrifice. It had to be a worthy sacrifice. Okay? Acceptable. Bear me just a minute, bear me just a minute. Acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So what we're doing right now is very, very reasonable. There's no reason why we shouldn't be on fire for the truth. There's no reason why we shouldn't. Unless the spirit is not dealing with you, unless you're in the world. Okay, there's no reason why we should not be on fire for the Lord, you have a shy. Okay, because there's a difference between being in the world and being of the world. And the heaviest spirit, out of all the spirits I've encountered, the heaviest spirit is the spirit of the world. Out of all the spirits. And that spirit is so heavy, you can be entangled in the world and not even know that you're entangled. That's how heavy the spirit of this world is. Verse 2 And be not conformed to this world. So we're not supposed to be conformed. Conform means to be joined on. So when you're conformed to this world, that means you're joined on with the ways of this world. That means you're more likely, what? To take the chip, you're more likely to sell out. Okay? Because you're conformed. So if you're holy, if you're presenting your body as living sacrifice, then what's your Habashai going to do? He's going to separate you over time. Because he sees what? You're not of this world. So you can clearly see if a man's worldly or if he's not worldly. You're not going to need to what? Second guess. Oh, is this, is this... Bear me just a minute. You're not going to need to second guess. Is this individual worldly? No, no. You're not going to need to do none of that. Okay. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing. See, transform. See, there's a change. People can see that. You know? You know how many times I have people say that to me? You change. You look different. You change. That's good. But guess what? You're changing for the better. Some men, they come into this truth and they don't change. See, you can have a change for good and you can change for the worse. You want to change for better. So when we come to this truth, you're supposed to be changing all the bad things. Yeah, we know it's a process. But you're supposed to be changing the things that were not so good about you, them, them worldly characteristics. Okay. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Transform means change. You're renewed. Okay, like transformers. You're renewed, you're trans. Trans means change. Okay. So you're changed. By what these words? Okay, your whole mindset, your whole thinking is completely different from how this world thinks. That's why this world looks at you as strange. Where it's strange because you're not thinking how this world thinks. Now you have a different mindset. Now you have the mind of your Shai. Okay, and that's what separates you from this world. Okay. And the renewing of your mind. So guess what? Your mind gets renewed completely. Your mind changes. Okay. Your thought pattern changes. How you perceive things, how you perceive the world changes. And guess what? It's interesting because when you're out here, you see a whole load of different things. You get some people that fan their hands and you get a lot of people that want to hear what you have to say. You've got a lot of people that roll down their windows and they actually want to hear what you've got to say. Stop, stop. So don't, again, don't seek the validation of this world. Those that have an air are going to hear. Okay? We're not, we're not. When people are walking past 
I'm not saying, brother, sister, have you got have you got a minute? Have you got we don't, we, you don't need to say that because the elect are gonna be gathered in. We're not here for the whole house of Israel. The elect are gonna be gathered by this word. All we gotta do is just teach the word, and those that are gonna hear are gonna hear. Men are trying to do their own thing. Yeah, we've got to wake up our nation. Yeah, it's your Habasha that's going to do the waking. All we need to do is just teach the word. Just like when you heard the word, when you woke up, just like when we woke up, what we heard the words. And through the faith, we came into this truth through belief. I don't know, some people come into this truth because they were insecure, they wanted a friend. No, you're not supposed to come into the truth for that. You come into the truth because what? You wanted salvation. You were wretched. That's why you came to the truth. And that you may prove. Prove means test. Yoki must. So when we come to the truth, we're going to be tested in various different ways. And we're proving, okay, what is acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So now once we come to the truth, we're proving what is acceptable. In the world, we didn't know what was acceptable. Okay, certain things obviously you might have had a brief knowledge of. Okay, but now we know what is acceptable. Okay, love thy brother as thyself. Don't eat pork. Don't commit adultery. Okay. Don't steal. Don't murder. All these different things. Okay. Now we know what is acceptable. How through the scriptures? Because the scriptures are our guideline. Are like a, our, our guideline. This is the guideline. Okay. And the perfect will of the Most High. So we know the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh The world doesn't know the will of the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's why the, the, this world, they're looking for answers. But they don't have the answers. Okay. This world world is leaning on their own perception okay this world is leaning on their own logic who cares about your logic it's about the logic of the scriptures that's what it's about okay it's not about the logic of this world okay because this world's going to perish and the people along with this world so now let's go to James Baba Kusha. James 4 and four, ye adulterers. And our nation is a nation of adulterers. Our people like to commit adultery. Okay? Which that is a spirit of the world. And that's that's a right, that's the spirit because I'm seeing a truck and it says fruitful office on it. Yeah, this is supposed to be a fruitful office. Okay, in this truth, you're supposed to be fruitful. Freely receive, freely give. So what's your office? To become fruitful to hear this word and to teach others. Just how you heard this truth. You want to be able to teach others in this word. Okay? Ye adulterers and adulteresses. Okay? Know ye not that the friendship of this world is enmity with the Most High. So the Most High, he hates this world. So if you know that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, hates this world, are you going to be a part of this world? No, you're not. It says the, the friendship of this world is enmity. So enmity is what? Variance. So a man with understanding, a man with wisdom, he's going to want to separate himself from this world. Because he knows that being of this world, you're, putting, you're making yourself what? An enmity, variance. With the Heavenly Father and His Son. Because when He comes back, He's coming to destroy this world and the people that are of the world. Okay. Whosoever there be will be a friend of the world. Is an enemy of the Most High. So a friend goes into what? Companion, unity, love. So if you're a friend, if you're a companion with this present world that we're living in, that means you're an enemy of Yahweh Shai. So that's why you don't want to be hanging around with people in the world. 
have you, you may have a, a, a person in the world that may help you out. That's different, but you're not going to be lingering about him 24 7. You're going to limit your time that you're spending with that individual. Like your family, they're of the world. You're going to limit your time with them. Because what? The love of this world is enmity with the Most High. You make yourself an enemy. So those that are seeking after the world, what? They're enemies of Yahweh Shai. That's why the scriptures say that. I forgot where the scripture is somewhere in Philippians. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Let's quickly see if we can find it. See, there's a, there's a clear difference. There's a clear, clear separation between those that are of the world and those that are not of the world. I can look at a man and say, this man, he's not of the world. You can see that by his actions, by the way he carries himself and just by his presence. Okay, and you can see another man. Yeah, this this guy, this guy is worldly. You know, so our thing, being of the hopeful elect, is to separate ourselves from the people of this world because we know there's going to be a judgment for those that have given themselves over to this world. Because when you give yourself over to this world, ain't no saying what you would do. That means there's no limitations on what you would do because you're given to the world. You understand what I'm saying? Bear me just a minute. And it's irksome, obviously, but when people come up, obviously they're of the world, so you're going to conversate, you're going to communicate with them. But you're not trying to merge yourself with them. You know what I mean? Because again, you have to balance out stuff, you know? We were, we were of the world once upon a time. So you've got to deal with people on the level they come in. Okay, bear me just a minute. See if I can find it. Yes, here we go. This is Philippians 3. And let's start at 14. I press toward the mark. So the hopeful elect, they have another, they have another purpose. The hopeful elect, they have another purpose. Okay. They're on a mission. They want to complete their goal. The world, they don't have the same goals that we have. My, my, my aspiration is the kingdom of heaven. The, world, the world's aspirations is different. It's to get a mortgage, it's to get a career, it's to get a big house, it's to get a woman. That's, that's the ambitions of the world. That's the aspirations of the world. That's not our aspiration. Philippians 2, 3 and 14, I press toward the mark. So if you're pressing, you're moving. You're stepping towards that mark. Okay. For the prize of the high calling of the most high in Yahweh Shai. It's just to the prize. What's the prize? A reward. So we're waiting for that prize. We don't want that prize right here. We don't want it right here. We won that prize in the kingdom, okay? That's where we won that prize. We don't want the prize here. Because everything here is corruptible. So like a quarter of the, of the prize in Mashiach. Let us therefore be as many perfect. So we're seeking for perfection, okay? We're seeking for perfection. Be thus minded. So what it does, like minded. So even when you're laboring with brothers, you want to be like minded. Same goal. You don't want to be, you don't want to be laboring with someone that's um, worldly. Why are you going to want to labor with someone that's worldly? That doesn't have the same goal. See, you want to surround yourself with those that have the same goal as you. That have the same goal. They want to get out of here because it makes things more easier. Okay. And if, there, if anything be otherwise minded, the most I shall reveal even unto this unto you. Let's read that again. And if anything be other thus minded, what is other thus minded? Contrary to how the spirit is. The spirit of the scripture. So if anybody be other thus minded, 
What does Avadas means contrary? Worldly. It says the Lord bear me just a minute. Shall reveal even this unto you. So Yahweh shall going to reveal unto the men that are in the spirit. If, a, if another man is not in the spirit or he's in the spirit of the world, that's going to be what? Revealed. Then guess what? Yahweh is going to have to separate that world, that, that man that's in the Holy Spirit from that man that's in the world. See how it works? Because there's that separation. The scriptures say in Amos 3 and 3, can two walk together? Lest they be agreed. So no. We can't walk together unless we be agreed, unless we're on the same accord. Okay? Brethren. Okay? Be ye, bear me. Nevertheless, wherefore, I'm moving too fast, verse 16. Nevertheless, where we have already attained, let us walk, because we've already attained this truth. Okay? Let us walk by the same rule. Okay? So we're supposed to be walking by the same rule. Okay? Of what, what the scriptures? Let us mind the same thing. What? The same doctrine. If you mind the same doctrine, you're not going to be of the world. Okay? Reverend, be ye followers together of me. So we're supposed to be followers of Yahweh Shai. Okay? And mark them which walk so as you have asked for an example. So guess what mark means? So payo. So you mark them that walk in the same pattern as you have a shy. And you can also mark them that are not walking in that pattern as you have a shy. But you want to mark them that are walking in the same pattern. And those that you're marking that are walking in the same pattern, they're the ones that you want to cleave on to. The elder apostle said that. You want to look at the men that are diligent and that they're the ones you want to cleave on to. Okay? For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping. Okay? Lamenting that they are enemies of Mashiach. So this, this is where you're seeing what? Those that have to split it up. It says enemies of Mashiach. So you have Individuals calling on the name of Yahweh Shai, but they're enemies of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Whose end is destruction, which is what? Condemnation. Okay. Whose power, so like whose God, is their belly. Okay. Their appetite, their lust, their desire. And whose glory is in their shame. So these people, they, they glory in shame. They glory in what's shame? Dishonor. Okay, and the dishonor is what? The world. If you're in your shame, you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna have shame. Remember what the scriptures say: "Blessed is he that keepeth his garments, and how sh shall not walk naked." When you don't have your garments, your shame is being seen. So, when you don't have your garments, that means you're in the world. Okay. I don't have my garment, but guess what? The garment is the truth. Okay. Because I was in a rush to get out of here, that's why. <laughs> Only just a minute. I'm so lucky about that. Okay. And their belly. Okay, whose glory is in their shame. And who mind earthly things. So I was telling you, you have men in this truth that are enemies of Yahweh Shai who mind earthly things. So you have individuals that they care about the things of the world okay oh i can't i can't do the work i've, I've got to work you know overtime for esau nah you know i've got to dip out now i've got to dip out you know overtime bro that's 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 what you're dedicating your time to you have a shine because you're of the world you're not you're not using your time well okay who mind earthly things so how the scriptures are giving you that that variance of those that are of the world okay for our conversation is in heaven so our conversation is heavenly our conversation it's not worldly because our conversation or well, the hopeful elect conversation is 
It's about what? Holy things. It's about the kingdom. Okay? A man that's worldly, his whole conversation is on this world. Mortgage, women, chasing the black women. Why are you chasing women when you should be doing the work? Why are you chasing money when you should be... See, it's your priorities. It's that, it's that men, it's that priorities are not in the right order. Okay? This should be your woman. Sophia should be your woman. Sophia should be your first love. Okay? From whence we also look for, our, for the Saviour, the Lord Yahushua Mashiach. That's what we're looking for. Yahushua. And he's going to come, and that's what we believe. Because if we didn't believe that, guess what? We wouldn't be doing what we'd be doing. Well, some men, they're doing the work, but they're doing it deceitfully. They're just going for the motions. Okay? They don't want to run and be out here. And to be out here, it takes confidence. But guess what? Yahushua gives you that confidence. You know, you got guys that are out here, they're all timid. No! Yahushua gives you that confidence to be out here and to teach his words. Scripture says, lift up thy trumpet, whether they will hear, whether they will forbear. We don't care about what this world thinks, and that's another thing. People of the world, people of the world, guess what? The people of the world, they seek the validation of this world. Okay? We don't do that because we're not concerned with the world, we don't consent. This world's going to be destroyed, so we're not concerned with what, what this world thinks. Does that mean we don't conduct ourselves in a godly manner? No, because if you're in your house, if you're doing what he says, that's going to come out. You understand what I'm saying? Verse 21. Okay. Who shall. And a lot, another thing, a lot of these women as well. A lot of these women. The, the reason why they dress why they dress because they want attention. They care about what people think. That, that's like maybe a spirit of a woman. Oh, I want to be seen, you know. You don't care about what this world thinks of you. When you were in the world, you were dressing a certain way. You looked a certain way. Why? Because you cared about the validation. But over time, you don't care about that. That's why these women out here, they dress going to be clad because they want people to notice them they want people to say oh you look nice or be beat to them we don't care about that you see you see the difference verse 21 what on um, Philippians 3 and 21 who shall change our vow body what we right now we're in very vile bodies okay very, very vile bodies. Bodies that need changing. These bodies need changing. Okay. These bodies feel pain. Okay. All types of pain. Okay. But yeah, he said he's going to change these vile bodies. Okay. It's going to create what? A new body. Okay. But it may be fashioned, which fashion means what? Formed. Okay. Like and his glorious. Bodies, so we're going to have bodies like Yahabashah's bodies, immortal bodies, okay? And that's spiritual because I've been thinking about when Yahabashah comes, he says, I'm not going to meet you as a man, so Yahabashah, he's going to have an angelic, Yahabashah's going to have an angelic body when he comes, okay? You've got, to, you've got to imagine these things. When Yahabashah comes, he's coming out as an angelic force, so he's going to like with our bodies and to that same glorious apparel. Okay? It's going to be beautiful. Okay? According to the working, okay, whereby he is able to even to subdue all things unto himself. So again, when you have a comes, he's also going to subdue everything. Why? Because he's the Lord of Lords, Kings of Kings. Everything's going to be subdued. Why? Because he has the power to do that. It's in his hands. Okay? And that's why the scripture says that every knee should bow, every tongue should confess. Why? Because everything's going to be subdued, brought down, and doing the rule of Yahushua. Okay? So the men of the Lord, they're going to be of a different fashion. The men of the world, they're going to be of a different fashion, the fashion of the world. Okay? 
Barely just a minute. Let's go to John. So many things I'm thinking about right now. Are you really gonna wanna be around someone that's you're always around them but they're always thinking about they're always uh, speaking about base low stuff. That's why Yahweh Shai said I am from above, you're from below. Yahweh Shai What what did he mean when he said I am from above, you're from below? Yahweh Shai, his mind, his frequency was it was a high frequency. Okay, his mind was higher. Okay. The Pharisees that were speaking to him, they were on a low, low level. So this is what this truth teaches you, to have a high level mentality. Okay. To have a ruling class mentality. Okay. This is what this truth teaches you. Okay. So let's go to John. Bear me just a minute. See if we can find it. Okay, this is first jump. Okay. This is first jump. And I want to start on first jump 1 and 14. I have written unto you fathers. The fathers represent the hopeful elect. Because you have known him. Okay, who? Yahweh Shai. See, they are hopeful elect. No, Yahweh Shai. Okay. But it's from the beginning. And I've written unto you, young men. And a lot of us came into this when we were young. See, Yahweh Shai, most of the time, he picks men when they're young. Because you're more, what, trainable. Okay. Excuse me. Pollen going down my throat. Bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. So the Lord, he chooses his men when, when, they, when they're young. Not to say all men come into this when they're young. Some come in a bit later. But he prefers men when they're younger. Just like Jeremiah, Yahweh, they were young when they were teaching. Okay. You're more teachable. But it's harder when you're old. Because when you're older, you're more stuck in your ways. Okay, when you're older, you're more stuck in your ways. Bear me just a minute. Rather than someone that's young, okay? And that can be taught. Okay. So yeah, we're on that topic. Okay. First John. The elect have overcame this world. Okay. They already have the victory. Okay, so if you're off the hopeful elect, you've already you've already overcame this world. It just needs to be played out in the flesh. And it's not a play in the flesh. By what your actions. Okay. I've written to young men because you are strong. So the house of David, remember, it says the house of David was waxing stronger. And the house of Saul was waxing weaker. So the house of Saul, they're also going to be what? Of the world. The house of Saul are going to be what? Waxing weaker. But the house of what? David, they're going to be waxing stronger in the spirit. Okay. And the word of the Most High abideth in you. So this word is supposed to abide in you. Okay. Dwelling you. Okay. So if this word abideth in you, that means you are the you are the words. The word is you. Okay? It's in you. Okay, so you become a walking just like your Shah when he's on earth. He was the word in the flesh. Okay? He was the word in the flesh. So how could you the Pharisees, they were trying to cut your Shah. How could you cut the words? Your Shah was the word. So you become that walking instrument, that you become that word. Okay, so people of the world, they're not going to want to be around you. Okay, because you have now a higher standard. Okay. 
and you have overcome the wicked one. You see, people are listening. People are listening. People roll down their windows and a lot of people are listening and you're going to get others that don't listen. But again, those that are meant to get it, they're going to get it. Okay? And you have overcome the wicked one, Esau, this kingdom, this world. Okay? The elect, the hopeful elect are going to overcome this kingdom. Okay? Because they're going to be given the spirit to overcome the kingdom. Okay, that's a nice dog right there. You know? <laughs> Just really. I like dogs, why? Because dogs are very loyal. Dogs are loyal. And just going back to what does that word dog mean? Caleb. Caleb means loyal. And Caleb was very, very loyal. Okay? That's why he made it out of what? He made it into the promised land. Caleb and Joshua. Okay? And that's how we're supposed to be. A dog. You know you have dog them German shepherds? The reason why a lot of these police officers, they use German shepherds, because a German shepherd Will take a bullet for you. That's how loyal dogs are. Have you seen them? Um, you do know. You know when um these particular disasters happen. There's earthquakes. Our buildings may drop. What do they have? They have them dogs that sniff out the survivors. That's a very harsh job. Even on that that twin towers incident, when it was hot and fiery. You know there was dogs out there. They could have died. They could have died. Some of, them, some of them dogs did die. Some of them dogs got burnt. So dogs are very, very loyal. Very loyal. Okay? Very, very loyal. And that's how we're supposed to be to Yahweh Shai. Okay? Show our loyalty. Show our devotion. Okay? And one verse 15, remember, was John 2 and 15. Love not the world. So again, fair difference. Love not the world. So again, we don't love this world. The men of the Lord are not going to love this world. Neither the things that are in the world. So, you're not going to love the things that are in the world. Trainers, cars, okay? Jesus is blank on his neck one. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're not going to love this world. You're not going to love the things that are in this world. Does that mean you're not going to do things? Gonna... Obviously, we've got activities. Lord willing, later on, I want to get in the gym, work out, pump some weights, because that helps. The scripture says, bodily exercise profiting little, but it still profits. So these things still profit you. But we're not, we're not entangled in all these things. We're not entangled in the world. So again, restaurants, a restaurant, that's, a restaurant is something in the world. Does that mean brothers can't go to a restaurant? No. A brother will go to a restaurant, but he's not entangled in the world. Some of you may have women, you have wives. You may spend time with your woman. But most of the time, your woman's worldly. So you're not going to be entangled with your woman. So that means you're not of the world. So you need to, um, what's the word? Is it comp compartmentalizing, if I'm saying it right? A couple mentalized, you need to know, you know, divide things in this right for order. Everything, everything, there's a balance to everything. There's a balance to everything in life. But when you're giving yourself over to the world, that's when there's, you know, that's when all help, you know, that's when you fall out and you no longer have that same passion. Okay? If any man loved the world, so it's letting us know. Remember what we read in James 3 and 3. The love of the world is James 3 and 4. 4 so like yeah, the love of the world is enmity with the most high. Okay, so if any man loved the world and lust, so like if any man loved the world, the love of the Father. So part of that love is your loyalty, your dedication to the Heavenly Father. It's not in him. So if you love this world, the love of the Father is not in you. You see what I'm saying? It's not in you. So you can fake, you can put on an act, but if you're not of the truth, time reveals everything. So if you're not ready of Yahweh Shai, the Lord's just going to get you out of it. One way or another. You see what I'm saying? The love of the Father is not in him. So for the love of the Father to be in you, 
that would mean you have to be in Yahweh Shai. You have to be in this world, not the world. No offense. It's very, it's very, it's not hard, it's not hard to understand. And the scriptures say, show yourselves men. Okay, men. You're not worrying about what these women are doing. You're showing yourself a man. Okay. And correcting someone, it doesn't mean you hate them. Correcting someone, it doesn't mean you're backbiting. A person might have demons on them. And that's another thing. When you're, when you're, when you're engrossed with this world, what, the spirit of the world, that means you have spirits on you because there's spirits in this world. So a brother, you may didn't need a brother, whether he's younger or older, to rebuke them spirits of you. That's not backbiting. Backbiting is when someone gets on you, you've always got an argument, okay, against it. That's backbiting, okay? Is that great news when we look up our words, okay? And the brothers are those that are teaching the same doctrine. They're your brothers in the faith. Your brothers are not a, a different group of men that talk shit about the elder apostles. If you link up with a group that talks shit against the apostles, they're not your brothers, they, they're their enemies, they're enemies of the gospel. Okay. For all that's in the world, so this is all that is in this world, everything that's in this world, the lust of the flesh, because the flesh is lusted. Okay, the flesh wants to eat. The flesh wants to sleep. The flesh just wants to lay down. This, wait, this is the condition of the battle. This is why when I first came to the truth, brothers were teaching me about the flesh. Okay, is that it's always a spirit. It's a spirit against the flesh. And I've always say, how do you, what's the best way to examine yourself? The best way to examine yourself is... You know where Captain Junction is? Sorry. Do you know where Captain Junction train station is? Yeah. You're gonna have to walk straight through that estate. Yeah. And come out that other end. Or you know what? It's easier to walk, walk by that bridge before you go to the bridge. Take that bridge. Turn left before you go down that bridge. Turn left and it's like a, a roundabout. You can't miss it before you hit that bridge. Turn left and go straight down. Follow it down and you won't miss the station. Right. Okay. No, no, it's alright, brother. All right. Yeah. So the lust of the world. Okay. That ain't gonna do you no good. Okay. Because what does this world push? This world pushes homosexuality, which is off according to the scriptures. It tells you it's wrong with two women to lay in each other. That is wrong. Okay? It's wrong for two men to lie down with each other. Okay? That's wrong. Okay? It's against the scriptures. It's against the natural order of stuff. See? When you're enticed with this world, when you're engulfed with this world, you're gonna think homosexuality is acceptable. That's why, oh, that's spiritual. There's a man that says born out of character. And another thing, this word teaches you character. This word, it builds up your character because we're still lacking, you know? I still have many things that I've got to work on. So the more you're in your home shy, the more he builds your character up, the more he can work on you. But the more you're in this world, the more your character diminishes, the more your, 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 um, your morals diminish. You see, you see the importance of being in this group. Okay? That's the importance of being in this group. Okay? Now you have a higher standard. The world, this world, it doesn't have a standard. Now, okay? Because the world teaches you, just do what you want. Don't worry about the consequences. But there's a, to every action, there's a reaction. Okay. So the law might not judge you now. He can judge you in a week time. He might not judge you in a week time. He can judge you in a year time. He might not judge you in a year time. He can judge you when you come back. Okay. We're still on John, uh, second chapter, verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the fl remember what we said, the flesh, if it was up to the flesh, you'd be through. If you were to just give yourself to the flesh, 
there'd be no chance. Because the flesh, your own flesh, your flesh doesn't have any limitations. Like I said, your flesh can't differentiate between what's good and what's bad. It's the, that's where the spirit kicks in. That's where the spirit says, yep, yeah, that's wrong. Okay. The loss of the eyes. So even the loss of the eyes, seeing particular things and wanting particular things. Okay, which ties into what? Covetousness. Oh, I want that. You know, sometimes it's your flesh. You may not even need that particular thing. But your eyes see it, ah, oh, I need that. No, you don't need it. That's your flesh telling you you need it. But really, you don't need it. Okay, that's your flesh. Okay, I need these trainers. Okay. But really, you don't need it. Oh, I need, I need this woman. But really, your Habashai knows if you need a woman or not. But you don't, you know, I mean, all, we've all been there. Well, I'll be lying to you. You know, I'd be lying to you. I wouldn't mind, you know, after this, taking a nice lady home, you know, getting comfortable, doing that. But no, because you always trying to know what may be a, what may be a stumbling block to me. Okay, and another truck, better products, better buildings, better lives. That's what we see, to be a better product, to be a better building, to be a better what? Living. Okay, so it's, it's spiritual, the Lord even give you signs. Okay, to continue in this work. Okay, the last of the eyes, seeing things and wanting it when you don't really need it, being covetous, wanting what another man has. These are all spirits of the world, and the pride of life. Okay, the pride of life that's a spirit, the pride of life, the MTV trip spirit. Yeah, you know, I got I got 20 pairs of trainers. But you can only put on one pair at a time. Yeah, look, I got I got 24 cars in my garage. But you can only drive one car at a time. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? That's the pride of life. That's the pride of life. You know? Oh yeah, I've got business plans. I've got five-year plans. The men of the Lord, they don't have plans and aspirations in this world. Their aspirations are on the kingdom. Not things that are here, not things that are present. Not, not the things you can see here. Okay. That's, that's the spirit of the world. Okay. That is the spirit of the world, okay, which we flee from. So the men of the Lord, what are they going to be doing? Drawing closer, drawing nigh unto Yahabashai, okay. And, 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 and what? Cleaving, cleaving unto Yahabashai, drawing nigh unto Yahabashai and departing from this world. Death. No, okay. Bear me just a minute. I've lost the page now. Yes, bear me just a minute. The pride of life, which is not of the Father, so having the pride of life. That's not of the Father. The Father does not delight in the pride of life. Okay. It's not of the Father, but it's of the world. So that's the spirit of the world. You know? Seeking gain. Seeking fame. Okay. Seeking popularity. Because you have a he's not in that spirit. Okay. And the world passeth away. So again, this world is going to pass away. So us, and the world means what? At age, this time, 
this rulership, not the whole world, because the rulership, the Yahusha's rulership is going to be what? That new world, that world without end. Okay, that kingdom without end. Okay. And the world passeth away. And the lust thereof, but he that doeth the word of the most high abideth forever. The scripture says, and this world passeth away. And the lust thereof. The pleasures of this world. Okay. The part in it. The joy. Facing women. Restaurants. Cinemas. Okay. Dining. Barbecue. Okay. Picnics. Okay. Festivals. Nothing then. All that rubbish. All that's perishing away. And the last thing but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. So that's why it's so important to be doing the work of Yahweh Shai. You doing the work that means what? You're not doing his will. You're doing the work of Yahweh Shai. That means you're doing his will. And he's pleased with you because you're doing his will. Okay. So we're done with that. Let's go to Matthew's. I'm also going to get Timothy's. Let me just a minute. You know what? Let's go to Timothy's. I'm sure some of you brothers know what I'm going to, what scripture I'm going to get as well. Timothy's free. Miss no. Okay. So again, us being spiritual, Paul was saying. Chris, no. He wants us to know these things. Okay? Also that in the last days, and we're in the last days of the last days right now. Okay? Perilous times. Okay? We're in those perilous times. Okay? We're in perilous means dangerous. So we're in real dangerous times right now. Okay? Perilous. Okay, time shall come. Okay, I'm right here, right now. It's just going to amplify. Verse 2 For men shall be lovers of their own selves. What does that mean? Selfish, narcissistic, and be careful of people that are very, very narcissistic. For someone that's narcissistic, there's no bounds, they have no limitations of what they would do. Someone that's narcissistic, they lie. They're very manipulative, okay? Which is really, manipulation is really a, nothing but a source of what? Witchcraft, okay? And you know what the scriptures talk about a witch, okay? What should happen to a witch, okay? So men shall be lovers of their own self, very narcissistic, very all about themselves, not taking any responsibility, okay? This is, these, these were the attributes that you would see of the world that we want to stay clear of, okay? Covetous. What does covetous mean? You're looking at another man's gift. You're looking at what another man has, whether that's in the spirit. This man may have a gift in the spirit, okay? He may be a good reader. He may be on fire for the truth. You, you envy that. You want that. It, make, it makes you what? Covetous. You start dressing like another man in the truth. You start copying everything he starts doing. Because you're covetous. You're a covetous man. You have no moral. Oh, you're covetous in the physical. What a man has in the physical. Okay? Because you could be covetous in the physical and spiritual. So what does that mean? You were, you were sleeping with another man's woman. Okay, you will talk with another man's woman, willingly know he has a woman. That's being covetous. Okay, if a, if a woman's married, you're not supposed to speak to that woman that has a husband. Because she has a husband. She doesn't belong to you. Okay, so that's, that's what being covetous. Okay, you, you may, you're looking at another brother, what he's got. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? That's being, co that's, that's being covetous. You're looking in on what another man has. That's covetous. What's that? You know? The Lord's going to destroy individuals like that eventually. Because if you're covetous, you would sell a man out. You'd sell out. 
So the scriptures are warning, of course, warning of these attributes of the world. So men in these times, these were the things we were going to see. And you were also going to see men that claim to be the truth that have all these attributes. If I see a man with a ring on, I might like that ring. You can like something and say, yeah, I like that. But you're not going to get it because this man's got it. You're trying to compete. Oh, this man's got a gold bracelet. Oh, I'm going to get a gold bracelet. You're just doing it to compete. That's the spirit of the world. That's called being covetous. That's called being covetous. You see? But if you're not examining yourself, you're going to take on the traits of the world. Boasters, people boasting. Yeah, I'm this at there. I think I'm really, bro. You're gonna get every man in this truth. Every every man in this truth has been given a gift, and that gift is from your shine Brothers got different gifts, and the gift is from your shine And when you acknowledge that your shine has given us this gift, we boast in your shine Nothing's wrong with that. If you're gonna boast. But don't ever say it was me. I gave myself this. I done this. That's boasting. That's being proud. No. It's Yahweh Shai that gave us this gift. You know? That's called being appreciated. Ah, oh, I went to university. But did, did the university teach you the scriptures? Does the university teach you character? No. It just teaches you to become a mockingbird. That's what university teaches you. I was good at this. You know? That's boastful. Okay. Proud. So people these days, they're very proud. They turn their nose up at other people. Those that can't do what they can do. They turn their nose up at them. Okay. So it says proud. Blasphemers. Or oh, they might be driving, there's a Porsche right here. 